Okay, so what are we working on now? Our next myth is talking to plants. Uh. <laughs> now there's a lot of people out there that think your plants will grow better if you talk to them. What if you hate plants and you're really mean to them? We can try that too. You know what I'd like to try is music. They say classical music makes your plants grow better, but we should mix it up. I'll get some heavy metal and classical and see which one works better. Sounds good to me. They're going to build seven self-contained greenhouses. A control will have silence. One will have 24-hour heavy metal music. Another classical. Two will be fed sweet talk, and the last two will get abuse. <laughs> At Greenhouse Central, only the control house has had silence. For the rest, four weeks of constant rotation CDs and cajoling to test if plants grow better if they're talked to. Need to grow real big. We got the state fair coming up in about a month. You guys look like champs. All right. Yeah! Come on, baby! Yeah! Go! Come on! Yeah! Go! 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 Oh, yeah! That's going to be good for them. That will, you know, really inspire these guys to grow a little bit better. Oh, my gosh. Strangely enough, halfway through the experiment, trends are emerging. My sweet words must have an enormous effect on my plants because these plants are growing much better than my nasty plants. This guy here is huge. He's got little arms reaching out, grabbing on. So far, Talking Nice is actually working, and I, I hate to say it, Scotty might be proving me wrong. Talking nicely to plants, making them grow better. Is Carrie losing her mind? Oh, lovely morning to all you peas. Look at all the nice little peas growing in there. Oh, I love you peas. Ah! I'm worried about all of us. They know. They know how I feel. I think we need some psychological evaluation. Now for the hard data. Does talking to plants help them grow? So this is the classical music. Classical music. Turns out, not as well as playing them music. Wow! Dude! Right? Those look like very healthy plants. <laughs> They're bop. All I hear is this. <laughs> Number seven. The metal house was the best performer of all. How many peat buds? But in both music houses, the plants were healthier, taller, and had the biggest peas. My God, metal is huge. These plants are enormous compared to everything else. I think, I think heavy metal rolls. I think heavy metal. Totally rule. 16 inches. Talking nice or nasty made no difference. 17. Two pods. Two shrivel pea pods, number eight. Carrie's nice house did better than her nasty one. But the opposite was true for Scotty. 30 grams. 30 grams on number eight. And the silent control house was the worst performer of all. Say nine grams. Nine grams, number six. So I went through all the data of what your plants did, and by and large, actually, hands down, talking and music did better than the control. It was larger biomass, larger yield, bigger pea pods. So what do we think? Is it busted, plausible, or confirmed? Well, this team did really good on this job, but the sample's not quite big enough to say confirmed. However, I'm really impressed. It is totally plausible. Wow. Him. Interestingly, although talking helps, it doesn't matter what you actually say to your plants. That's what our data says. It says you could curse at it, you could be kind to it. The plant doesn't know the difference. But music for a bumper crop, let there be rock.